you got to be aware of your surroundings because if you're not aware of your surroundings, the risk of something like that happening to you increases exponentially. It goes from being a freak accident to, you know, a severe likelihood. All right. <clears throat> Change of plans. Sonny has put Carlo in his place and is guiding operations with a mighty fist. The Tatalias are in ruins, even though we didn't even fight the Tatalias. We fought fucking Cuneos. But still, they fight on. Whose bloody hands is secretly controlling them? Don Vito, recovering, but ready to pass the reins. And Michael Corleone, still in Sicily, but eager to return. Come here, I got a good one for you. Jeez, I, I sure hope he wasn't planning a vacation today. I'm all he is. Going to your bank up in the Bronx handles all their dirty laundry. So we're going to walk right in. I'm going to take whatever the hell we like. Sonny. Fuck him. Mm. It's for you. Bink, you dodo. I'll be right back. Hang on. Mm-hmm. Oh. Move out. Go on. Again, they just kind of assume that you've seen The Godfather and you know what happened with that conversation. So, in case you don't know, uh, earlier in the movie, there's this... So, Sonny and Michael and Fredo are the Don's sons, and they have a sister whose name is Connie, which was the, uh, the wedding at the very beginning of the game, right? And she's married to a guy named Carlo. That's who the wedding was to. And, um, well, I'm trying to pay attention to the mission, but also trying to explain. So, she's married to a guy named Carlo. Carlo has a habit of, uh, being a kind of an asshole husband and beats his wife, right? And there's a scene where he beats Connie. And, uh, you know, she goes over to the Corleone compound. She's got, like, a black eye or whatever. And, uh, Sonny finds out. And he goes and tracks down Carlo, who's hanging out in, like, the fucking Bronx somewhere down on, a, you know, the stoop in front of a place. And he starts beating the shit out of him. And he tells his, uh, he tells him, you know, if you ever touch my sister again, I'll fucking kill you. Right? And, um, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, oh, fuck. Okay. So, anyway, uh, Sonny just got a call from Connie again that Carlo beat her, which he did. And he's on his way to go track him down and kill him. Come on. Right? Come on. Except this happens. And if you notice, you got some Tatalia guys, some Strachi guys, and some Cuneo guys. Meaning that they were all in cahoots with each other. So yeah, it's a little weird that, you know, uh, Carlo beats up Connie. And, um, next thing you know, uh, Sonny's on his way there to go beat up Carlo, and he gets assassinated. Kind of crazy. Really makes you think. Fuck. Alright. This might not go well. Um, because we are not in a very stable car, number one. And number two, uh, we don't have the asset of somebody hanging out the window with a uh, Tommy gun shooting at these guys either. Hint, hijack a new car. Well, we're gonna have to. We almost might be better um, restarting the mission, to be honest, because we got kind of fucked. Especially because this guy is way ahead of us. Where is he? Is he just straight ahead? Alright, he's going straight ahead. I'm going to assume that he went straight. There we go. Yeah, because I think if we got off over there, it would take us around. We're going. Whoa, they're telling us to go that way. Fuck. 
was not counting on that. Oh, well, thanks for the boost, you guys. That's nice of you. So I have a feeling we're going to fail, because uh, he definitely gained some ground on us. At least everybody's kind enough to get out of the fucking way for us. Oh, what do I gotta go through? A Cuneo warehouse? Oh no! It's this one! Remember this place? <laughs> I remember this place! I think we all remember this place. Italia guys, we don't we don't need a street sweeper for the Italia guys. Let's use uh this regular little Tommy gun. Alright. Oh surprisingly, this uh area is not that bad right now. Oh I see you. Oh, you're not gonna open up? Well, oh, who's shoot? You know, we couldn't get some, like, Corleone reinforcements. So also, if we start a uh, mob war with the Tatalias, we're gonna have to go bribe the FBI guy, because I don't think you can bomb um, a warehouse in an account. Are we alone here? It's definitely a guy hiding around the fucking corner. Dead. Don't, don't hurt me. Don't hurt you. Yeah. Who you working for? It was another family. I don't know who. They paid him full, all cash for the head. You know something. Otherwise, they'd have left you there. Yeah. Okay. I know that they were on their way to a club on the west side. Hmm. Can I kill you? Will I get in trouble? You fucking set up Sonny, you piece of shit. Teach him a lesson. He won't forget that lesson. That's for sure. Alright. If I had to guess, there's probably the tally assholes that can spawn. Maybe not. Ooh, shotgun ammo. Nice. Oh, more shotgun ammo. <coughs> cool. <coughs> oh, fuck. Okay, we're timed again. Yeah, this game really loves to give you, like, timed missions for some reason. Where are we going? So, what, what is the fastest way to get there? Probably to get on the highway to go to Hell's Kitchen. Yep. So let's keep on the track to go to Hell's Kitchen. The nice thing is we don't have crazy guys chasing us. Fuck. Plus a lot of momentum right there. Yes, yeah, so we want to get up on the highway and then we're going to want to get off as soon as possible. At least they give you a fast car for this part. Also, the final mission in this game is... I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's a timed mission. And the time on it is so tight at some points. It's it's so hard. Well, let's not go that way. Cuneos will shoot at us.
make our way over here. Lady, you should play the fucking lottery, holy shit. We can't go that way. <clears throat> That's alright though, they give you plenty of time for this, at least. Although, I think when I was younger and stupid, I used to go the long way around and like would barely have enough time. But honestly, coming this way, um, it seems like you have more than enough time. Whoa! Nice. I'm gonna make you cry. I'm gonna make me cry for my mommy. I'm gonna make you cry for your mom. Let's go, Eduardo Alioto. Oof. How about Eduardo Aligdetto? Hey, I heard we was having a party and I wasn't invited. Oh, who's shooting at me? Who's doing that? Yeah, shoot your own guy. He's my shield right now. What we got here, huh? Oh, street sweeper, Tommy gun. Well, we'll do a little snub nose action. You guys ain't worth more bullets than what a snub nose has anyway. We bitches. All right, Mister, I'm just gonna chill behind the fucking corner with a shotgun, like an asshole. Stay down. What do we got? Guys over here? Wait, what are you just... Alright guys, I didn't want to have to do it, but I'm gonna have to do it. Eat that! Yeah, how'd that feel? Probably not too good. Probably not too good. That's what I thought. You wanna fuck with me? a lesson. I'm a lesson giver. It's my profession. That's what I do for a living. I give lessons. <clears throat> oh, you think I don't see you? Oof. Shot you right there. Ooh. Oh, hello. There you go. All three of you. Oh, ho, ho. Run away so we heal. All right, <laughs> I didn't realize it picked up a power of medicine. I also didn't see that guy over there. I could throw some dynamite at them too if I wanted, but there's no point because we have the execution for it. So better off using it it's safe. What, are we just gonna infinitely spawn the Talions? Oh, well, we said that the Talia game for? That's alright. Hey. Go ahead. I always like this one. Let me die. I must be... Hmm. Well, I think you made a lot of peace right there. Oof. Let me die. Okay. Tell him what he wants to know. Yeah, tell me what you want to know. Tell me what I want to know. Strings, old man. <clears throat> it's not my family you want. We are too weak. We carry the guns to battle, but do not pull the trigger. That is the job of the wolf. Don Barzini. Oh. Yeah, thank you for just ratting everybody out like that. Again, why are we timed to get back to the Corleone compound? I don't get it. It's like they want to give you a timed mission for everything. Not that I'm concerned. We literally have plenty of time. Uh, well, we won't have plenty of time if I keep fucking up like that, though. That'll take me to New Jersey. I don't want to go there. Alright. Let's make our way back to the Corleone compound. And the nice thing is, if guys start to chase after us in Little Italy, well, they're gonna 
have a rough time because we own everything there except for a couple of Barzini places. Which I might try to take over off screen now uh, because we got the Street Sweeper and I feel a little confident about my abilities. Although I'm probably going to wait till I get promoted to Capital. How do I want to get there? We want to go this way. Pretty much follow the road. Right? Is that right? Oh, we were supposed to take that street. We were supposed to take that street. So yeah, basically, in a nutshell, as we found out, um, Don Barzini is conspiring with all the other families to take out the Corleones. So we've been fighting the Tatalias this whole time, but um, in actuality, it's Don Barzini who is the true villain. <clears throat> and now... Uh, in the Godfather movie, there's a brilliantly done scene where, um, you know, after the death of Sonny, uh, Don Corleone goes to a peace talk with the other five families, because uh, he thinks he's only at war with the Tatalias, really, and he's there to make peace with Bruno Tatalia. But while you're there, while he's there, even though, you know, Don Corleone is supposed to be one of the most respected mob bosses there. Um, it's very clear that in, during that scene that it's Don Barzini who's really has the control at that meeting because he's acting as the mediator between the Corleones and the Tatalias. And uh, he makes Don Corleone conceal, uh, concede to joining the drug business with Salazzo uh, that Salazzo was trying to run. But, um,. Anyways, it's such a brilliant scene because, uh, you know, you kind of realize, along with Don Corleone, that it's been Barzini who was behind everything the whole time. And at the end of the scene, in case you didn't catch on, um, he says, you know, I didn't know until that day, but now I realize it was Barzini the whole time. <clears throat> So this scene is straight out of the movie, by the way, so I'm sure we're going to get copyright straight for this, too, because it's literally the audio. I want you to arrange a meeting with the heads of the five families. This war stops now. I must have a strict assurance from Corleone. As time goes by... This is the scene I was talking about, too. Stronger, Will he attempt any individual vendetta? Look, we are all reasonable men That's Don Barzini. Here. We don't have to give assurances as if we were lawyers. I'm willing to do whatever's necessary to find a peaceful solution to these problems. But I have selfish reasons. My youngest son was forced to leave this country because of this Salazzo business. All right. And I have to make arrangements to bring him back here safely, cleared of all these false charges. But I'm a superstitious man. And if some unlucky accident should befall him, then I'm going to blame some of the people in this room. And that I do not forgive. But that aside, let me say that I swear on the souls of my grandchildren and I will not be the one to break the peace that we've made here today. Mm. <coughs> so 
So one thing I do like about the scene, the context of the game compared to the movie, is during this scene, there is um behind Don Corleone, there is a Corleone guy. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Rocco Lampone actually who's behind him, and then there's Tom Hagen. But you know we've replaced Rocco in several instances where it should have been Rocco doing the things like killing Poligato should have been Rocco Lampone. But also in this scene, I'm pretty sure it should have been, should be Rocco Lampone behind the Don. But where they're in th instead, so at least they keep it consistent. With I look at it as the movie, ex uh, the game exists within its own continuity, right? So at least they're keeping consistent with the changes of, like, we replace Rocco in a lot of the scenes. It's a sad day for the family. Please, give your condolences to Don Corleone. I will. I will give my condolences to Don Corleone. Is he here? No. I don't think he is. Oh, is there uh, anybody down here? No. All right. Um, in one of the hotels, there is a... Uh, you can go down into the basement... And there's a prize fight there. And that one in particular just so happens to be like the strongest, most difficult prize fight. Oh, how interesting is that? This takes place at a hotel that we do not initially own. Interesting. <clears throat> Alright. Let's uh, hop right in here. Thanks you. This is yeah. Oh, ho, 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 Tatalia, you got fucking murked. Oof. He got murked real bad. That was sad to see. I felt that. I felt that in my soul. That poor fucking guy got spawn killed by Corleone guys. Let's make our way to the compound here. I think our next uh, thing is our... No, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm going to leave it a surprise. I shouldn't spoil the video game for those who haven't played it. So I want to take this a little slow, because... No, there is no film reel over there. And I forgot, what does that guy sell again? Shotgun ammo? Do we have full shotgun ammo? I think so. We're missing one, we're missing two shots. I'm not going to spend money on that. Corleone would like to speak to you. Oh, Woody. All right, so we're supposed to go in that room, but we're not going to go in yet. When I meet with the Tatalia people, should I insist? You be good, eh? But not too good. No, I'll try my best. Oh shit! I forgot we're at war. I forgot all about this timer. Clemenza's looking for you. Said he had urgent business. Get your ass to the compound. Right, we'll do. Hello. What do you need, dear? Hmm. Can I talk to you guys? Your future with the family is assured. What does the family want me to do now? The family will grow strong again with Michael in control. And you, his closest and most loyal friend. I grow tired of it now, and it's time for me to retire to my garden and my grandchildren. Hmm. All right, let's uh, let's go to the room. Michael, not Al Pacino, you're back. My friend, we've given you a good living, a lot of freedom, and now it is time to offer you more. My father has suggested, and I have agreed. From today, I wish you to stand at my right hand as my capo regime. 
God. Oof. But not a word of this to anyone else. Tom is out as conciliary. Clemenza is to be given his own family. And other things are changing. We must move with the times. Until we become unchallengeable. Hey ho ho! Congratulations on your promotion to Capo. Respect, 60,000. Money, 50,000. Promotion benefits and a weekly payout increased. Alright, so that's Michael who wants to give us a mission. But before we do that, we're not going to do his mission right away. We're going to take care of a couple other things. Also, I want to carry more stuff. I'm going to start pumping street smarts a little. Uh, we should really take care of this fucking Tatalia thing. Who are you? Michael has a uh, job for you. You interested? Oh, it's El Neri! Anything for Michael. What does he need? Remember George Gervino? Hate to tell you, but he's dirty. He's holed up with Rosa at her flower shop, but he's on the Barzini payroll. Hmm. All right. Jaggy Jovino. Jaggy Jovino has betrayed us. We gotta go take care of that. Um, also... <clears throat> Should probably find an FBI guy. Um, bribe him to get rid of this Tatalia timer. So, uh, yeah, let's go whack Jaggy Javino. Meet Monk near the hotel in Little Italy. Oh, I could have talked to Michael, probably. Um, but I'm not gonna go meet, uh, Monk either. I'm gonna go whack Jaggy Javino. I'm gonna go save the game because I want to give us a little bit of a makeover to represent our new standing as the Capo Regime. Uh, not that I think we can get any fancier, to be honest with you, but I figured we might as well look. I might change our face a little bit to make us look a little older, too. Because it has been like uh, five, maybe even six or seven years. Uh, in the context of the game. Oh, where am I going? I'm driving... I want to go to the FBI guy first. <clears throat> Especially because there's literally no Tatalia businesses left to bomb, except for the hub and the warehouse. And I feel like if I'm going to uh, like fight my way into the warehouse to take it over... Well, first of all, I don't even know if you can bomb the warehouse and it will count. Secondly, if I'm gonna fight my way into the warehouse, I might as well just take over the fucking warehouse. Like, <laughs> there's no point in doing all that work just to not be able to capitalize on it. Alright, if I remember correctly, this guy is down this way. There he is. Hey, how you doing, my friend? There are four other families you could be watching. Got it? Sure. A little pressure on the family's good for both of us. I agree immensely, my friend. A little pressure? You know? It's hard to perform well under pressure for a lot of people. The Tatali is included. Get out of the fucking car! <laughs> Oof, damn. Hey, get out of the car. Come on. Oh. oh damn, I'm gonna be late for the yeah, you're gonna be way late for that appointment, son. Alright, let's go, uh, whack Jackie Jovino. Oh, would you look at that? There's a Barzini Hotel that our mission is at. Um, but I don't want to do that mission just yet. At least not until we get our makeover and, uh, fuck. At least not until we get our makeover and, uh, you know, we're, uh, rolling in dough a little bit and, uh, I take over the other Barzini business and do some stuff off screen and also, uh, I might want to just grind out the Cuneo assassinations while we can. Get that extra money going. That way, uh, 
Next purchase, I'm torn between level 3 Tommy Gun, which is called the Dillinger, or level 3 Magnum, which is called the Python. Uh, however, I also feel like level 3 Pistol, which is called the Assassin Pistol, might also be a worthwhile investment. So I'm not sure. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to do some soul searching to figure out which one we want. Alright, so, with this, no street sweeper allowed. We need to use a snub, uh, snub nose. And the reason for that is uh, we cannot accidentally kill one of the call girls in here. And Barzini sit like a fucking truck. Holy shit. Alright. Alright, cool. We did it. Oh, we are so close to leveling up, too. Hey, you alright? I had to do it, Rosa. I had to. He was dirty. Every time I see you, somebody dies. But you saved my life before. I know you weren't involved, Rosa. And he might have hurt you. Hurt? Yeah. Maybe. But I just don't know what to think right now. Hmm. I, I like how we're talking as if we were, like, romantically involved or something like that, but we weren't <laughs> at all. <laughs> um, you don't have a safe, Rosa, that I can explode, so... Yeah, I know. We have your loyalty. I know your promise. And I expect you to uphold that promise. And as you can see, you can't really fuck around with Barzini's, because, like, they shot me once. Look at my health. So. You're no, you're the lunatic. You think I'm a lunatic? Oof. You're looking in the mirror, friend. Um, what am I... What did I want to look at here? Career progress. We're, we're getting almost half the actual money. So we're going to get, like, 50 grand almost... More than that, each time. Um, respect modifier 30. Next break under boss. Right. I want to go home. My bad man. Alright, that's your fault. You literally ran into the street. I don't know what to tell you there, friend. FBI are running an operation in Little Italy. Go there, meet up with Monk. He's working it already. Now find out what they know and who they're talking to, okay? Yeah, all right. I can do that. That's easy enough. Hmm. Cool. Got a baseball bat because our lead pipe broke. And then we'll save the game. No, actually, hold on. Let's let us regen completely. <laughs> 